Kyle Brentley Ray. It seems like yesterday when I was taking you to your first day at preschool. Time has really flown by. You have such a big heart. You have always been so helpful, caring, and giving. You've always asked to help both sets of your grandparents with little jobs you know they could do, but you wanted to help out. You not only wanted to do them to help out, but you love spending time with your grandparents. One of your big loves is music. I have always loved hearing you play your music throughout the house. You love the guitar and have taken lessons, but you truly love just playing around in the evening, listening to your music and recreating the song with your guitar. It's fun for me to be in the house while you just play. Kyle, you are a quiet young man and always have been. Your teachers have all remarked about how quiet and respectful you are. Boy, do you have them fooled. I'm just kidding. When you were in preschool, it was not uncommon for you to go to your brother Jacob's special activities at school. You always loved going and being a part of the day. It was Jacob's kindergarten play day and you were so excited to go to Belleville and play at the new park. When we got there, you joined your brother and all of the other kids and were having a fun time playing. Some of us moms that went along to help were standing along the edge of the playground equipment, visiting and watching all the kids play. All of a sudden, Jacob came up to me and said, Kyle bit someone. This was a shock because remember, Kyle is my quiet one. I went to the bottom of the slide and found you standing there with your arms crossed. I asked you what had happened and you told me that there was a kid at the top of the slide and he was pushing you to go back down the ladder. And you said, I didn't want to go down the ladder. I asked him to move over and he wouldn't. There was also a line at the ladder so he couldn't go down. So I bit him and he let me and everyone else go down the slide. Kyle knew it was wrong to bite the kid, but he saw no other option at the time. I apologized to the mother of the kid that he bit, and she did ask me if Kyle had had all of his shots. Needless to say, Kyle went to grandma's for the rest of the kindergarten play day, and he has not bitten anyone since. Kyle, you have always danced to your own beat, and that is definitely what makes you, you. Your father and I are so blessed to have you in our lives. We are so very proud of you and we both love you very much. I have loved watching you grow into the handsome, respectful young man you are today. I can't wait to see you begin the next chapter in your life. You will do amazing things because that is who you are. Don't ever change and stay true to your heart. Your life is just beginning and I hope you relish every moment along the way.